Okay, welcome to this week's episode of Love Subbing. And if you saw last week's episode, you know that it is our anniversary today. Exactly. And one of the reasons we came to Toledo was to hit that right place. back there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And that's Tony Paco's Cafe. It was made famous in MASH where Klinger was always dreaming about it. Right. And it's been almost 30 years since we've been there. So we'll see if it's changed. So we'll check it out and have our anniversary lunch. Woohoo! Should be fun. Pretty good, right? It looks delicious and so what this is is this is a classic Hungarian style sausage It's not really a hot dog, mm -hmm. but it's a Hungarian sausage the roots of this place is Hungarian from like 1932 It's been established so it's got chili. It's got some shredded cheese It comes with the pickles and of course we paired that with a Great Lakes Brewing Company Dortmunder Gold which is one of our favorite breweries on the planet. So let's go ahead and give this thing a try see how it tastes Favorite hot dogs, huh? Mm. Is it spicy? Mm. It's not. It's not too spicy. The, the sausage definitely has a nice casing on it, which makes it crunchy. Perfect soft roll with the cheese and the chili, and it goes absolutely wonderfully with the Dortmunder Gold, huh? With that Dortmund. Cheers. Excellent. So the other thing that Tony Paco's is known for is their pickles and peppers. And they're little pickles. They're pretty thickly sliced, but they come with hot peppers as well. And so, ideally, if you get both, try them together. So the pepper is very thick. It has a nice crunch to it. And the pepper is not a hot pepper. It's more like one of those banana peppers. And so it gives it a nice um, little kick, but not too spicy. So we're gonna try this chili. Everything okay for you? Spectacular. Everything is great. Thank you very much. Thank you. So the chili, the um, ground beef is very finely, finely uh, minced, and it has the big beans. Which gives it a, a, a nice texture. I can taste the chili powder, and that that's very nice as well. So it's, it's a very thick textured chili. Excellent. One of the fun things to do in the restaurant is to walk around looking at all the autographed hot dog buns. They have actors and actresses, politicians, musicians, you name it, have all signed one. Including this one from Gordon Lightfoot, whose song, The Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald, forever immortalized the shipwreck. Of course, the ship was en route to Toledo at the time that it sank. They also have buns that were signed by our current and our past presidents. Well, there you have it, Toledo, Ohio. What do you think, C? Oh, I love Tony Paco's. It's a great place to go. Yeah, we got to see all of our favorite places. We got to see our old apartment. Right, it was still there, but our one of our other favorite restaurants had burned down last year, so that was disappointing. Yeah, it was started in 1991 and burned down last year. What kind of luck is that? Right, exactly. But anyway, we had a great time here in Toledo. It just goes to prove that every city in America has got some great stuff to offer. Right. From Tony Paco's to, uh, you so know. So just walking down memory lane, it was great. It was great. So uh, we're off tomorrow to new adventures. We'll continue on this journey. Sounds good. So of course we could not leave Toledo without bringing some of Tony Paco's with us. And so we got the hot dog chili which is basically the chili recipe, but without the beans. We got their mustard relish, and we got their pickles and peppers. But what was a big surprise that we were able to find is their Hungarian sausage. 
that's going to be really fun to have down the road. And what was interesting is the hot dog at the restaurant, they actually split one of these in half for each hot dog. So one of these made two hot dogs. Awesome. It was a great deal, wasn't it? Oh, I'm the, yeah, absolutely. $2 hot dogs and we're going to get to bring some stuff back with us. All right. Well, good morning. It is a rainy kind of raw morning as we get ready to tow day today so it's a hitch and hitch it should be a short ride i think we're gonna go to jackson center and go to the uh mothership as they call it we don't have any service or anything like that but just to kind of check out the shop and uh just kind of see what they will maybe give you a view of what the uh terra port looks Ooh, what's that huh yeah Somebody lost their breakaway switch. That's why I always carry an extra one in my uh, spare parts kit. Somebody's having a bad day. But it's not me. So yeah, there you have it. No such thing as bad weather, only uh, inappropriate clothing. So we're uh, hitching up and we're off to Jackson Center, Ohio. Jackson Center is a small community located in central Ohio just off of I-75 and about 50 miles from Dayton. It's interesting to see how Airstream is so much part of this community, from the street signs to the road flags, and also a park named after Wally Byam. So we're here at the Airstream Terra Port. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the services that are offered. You've been able to see it from above. Um, yeah, so the wi they have Wi-Fi here. It's kind of spotty, so we have our Wi-Fi Ranger. And that has absolutely helped us out. Unfortunately, they don't make that anymore, but um, for us, it's working pretty good. Let's go ahead and take a look at the services that we have here. Um, you can see it's not you know, the most gorgeous place, but it's certainly for $10 a night for full hookups. Um, absolutely adequate. So, so what is it missing? A picnic, it? a picnic table. Oh, no picnic table. <laughs> this is the greatest campsite ever. <laughs> Actually, I think it's because they want you to park your vehicles on the sides. Yeah, and it's primarily here for people with service. Um, it's free if you're having service done to stay here, I think, the night before and after service. Uh, but we're just here for touring. So it's 10 bucks a night. Um, and and it's based on availability. So first come, first serve, no reservations. Yeah, first come. And it's only for, first come first serve and it's like cindy said there's um priority given to those having service and i get that and you can see it's pretty empty uh the, over the weekend because there's no service taking place so it's a great thing to do um i asked if there were any specific rules that i had to follow while i was here and they said the only rule was no uh like campfire right they said a barbecue grill was acceptable yes though. so let's go ahead and take a look at the services you can notice it's a windy day today again it is. It's been windy forever. So, uh, 30 amp hookups, fresh water, and a sewer site. So, you know, they're not the most, you know, modern of services. If you take a look, you know, but certainly adequate. Have we been boosting at all with your yeah, other it former? Yeah, the booster is running, so we've got about 130 volts going on right now, so it must have been just ticked below that one, uh, 108, 110, so uh, we're boosting, which won't hurt things. Hello. And yeah, not too shabby. Pretty good for $10 a night. <laughs> you can't beat it. So even in this day of age of texting and emails, I still like to send postcards to friends and family. And these are the fun ones that I got from the Neil Armstrong Air and Space Museum. Okay, we're standing in front of Airstream's brand spanking new trailer manufacturing facility and their heritage center. So this is where they're going to store all their historically significant trailers. 
Once the new facility opens, gems like this gold anodized 22 foot trailer that Wally Byam himself took on the African caravan won't have to sit outside in the elements anymore. Um, as well as uh, history of the club, history of the company, history of Wally Byam, all of the caravans from Africa to around the world to the Latin American caravan, all that stuff will be in this beautiful new facility that you can see behind me. It's just incredible compared uh, to where they were before. So we're excited uh, once this opens up to be able to visit it again someday. Yes, exactly. Look at all the Airstreams, brand new, at the new factory here. This, these must have been just completed and ready for transportation to their dealership and their new owners, but there's a lot of them. This is kind of cool, because these are two Airstreams destined for the European market, and I know it's hard to see through the fence, but you can see the funky uh, bumpers and lighting that the European market requires. That cutout right there is for the cassette toilet. Uh, European uh, Airstreams do not pump like we do here in the US, but they have to empty all of their toilets through a cassette. And you can see the very different uh, braking system. It looks like a uh, shock type brake, where as the tow vehicle brakes, Presses that front and applies the trailer brakes. But yeah, these are destined for the European marketplace. How cool is that? Never seen one live before. All right, well, there you have it. Our anniversary trip to Toledo, Ohio with a side trip to the Airstream factory. Exactly, and we brought back some souvenirs and that included some pickles and peppers and sausages. And tonight we're putting those up with some sauteed cabbage, peppers, and onions. I think that's gonna be fabulous. And nothing smells up an Airstream better than sauteing cabbage for like 20 minutes. It smells it's, like a wonderful Hungarian restaurant in here. It's gonna be very nicely caramelized. So hey, if you like this video, give us a big thumbs up. And if you think we've earned a subscription, click the subscribe. And comment below if you have a favorite restaurant around the Toledo area. Because we come out with RV and Airstream related videos just like this one every Tuesday. Thanks for watching.